Hello and welcome to another match day vlog. This time it's Blackburn Rovers. Thank you for clicking and I hope that you enjoy this video. If at any point you do, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let's hope for a Wolves win. It's currently 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm just about to leave for the match from Bridgend. A uh, long old journey and I'm coming back as well tonight as well. So it's going to be a long, long day. But hopefully this video will be up shortly. Well, a few hours after the game. See you later. Oh God! There was zero creativity, zero effort from the boys today. I thought it was really, really disappointed against the lacklustre Blackburn team, who I think at the end of the day will be disappointed that they didn't come away with three points. I think they probably had the slightly better chances, although I don't remember. There was, I think there was one save that Lonigan made. We had one chance on target, which was very, very close to the end of the game. So just highlighted once again our, our weaknesses and going through the team 1-11, to 11, I think there's almost at every single one of them, you could make a case for replacing in the summer. I thought Ben Marshall had his first poor game for us today, whether playing on that right wing in the first half next to the Blackburn fans, whether they got to him a little bit and unnerved him, uh, but he was not at the races. Cavaliero came on very early on because of a Doherty injury. Uh, his hamstring looks like it's gone, so that'll be him out for the rest of the season. George Savile filled in at left back and did okay, fine. 
Sice, I thought, had a poor game. Lots of misplaced passes. Dicko up front by himself. I don't understand how, with three games left of the season now, we still haven't worked out that we can't play long to Dicko in the air because he's a foot smaller than the centre-backs that he's playing against. I think it's really, really naive of our team and just proves that we're not good enough to get out of the championship in our current setup. When I saw the team sheet as well at the beginning of the day, I thought I was a bit disappointed to not see any new players involved. No Herc, no Wilson. Whether they're injured or not, I don't know, but there was no nothing to get excited about before the game either, and the atmosphere was flat. But now, I really do hope, and to be honest, I think that he will make some changes. I hope that Harry Burgoyne plays the remaining three games. Lonergan has been really disappointing over the last couple of games, and his decision-making is dire. There was a couple of times, there was, well, there's one point where the ball bounced inside the 18-yard box, and he... It hadn't left his line still and it was in the six yard box and there's nowhere to be seen. And for an experienced goalkeeper you'd expect him to be coming out and dominating those situations but he just doesn't. So a lot of work to be done now um, but in a way we can see these next three games as a pre-season but also we want to get as many points as we can and finish as high up the league as we can. We're now in 15th, we actually went up a place today. 60 points I think should be a, a target for us the last three games. If we can get six points, five points, six points from those I think there'll be a good end to the season. But the fact that two of those three games are at home, I think it's a negative thing. Thank you very much for watching this match day vlog. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Wolves related content, then make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you next time. I'm not going to the match on Tuesday against Huddersfield, but there'll be a preview and a review of that. So make sure you tune in for those. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.